Learning about wine in a social setting is much more fun than learning about it at home. You can read as many books as you want on wine, but at the end of the day, uh, coming and learning with fellow wine enthusiasts is much more enjoyable. I thought that wine number one was a benchmark example of Chablis. It was crisp, it was light, it was fresh. You certainly can't learn everything there is to know about wine in one day. I've been learning about it for years and I still don't know everything, but you'd be amazed at how knowing just a little bit about it can really help your enjoyment of it. If you go to a wine merchant or a restaurant, just having that bit of background knowledge really helps you make up your mind. These three wines illustrated for me very well the quality hierarchy. Our most popular course here at Berries is our introductory course, which runs over six evenings. We also run our classic wine regions course, and that's what we're beginning this evening. If you can't commit to six evenings in a row, uh, you can come along and do a one day introductory course. Or if you have a special area of interest, let's say you love Italian wine or the wines of Bordeaux, Burgundy or Champagne, you can come and do a one day course focusing specifically on that area. Tonight we are starting with a flight of three Chablis. Uh, we'll be looking at the quality hierarchy in Burgundy with those three wines. Much lighter, okay, so not as full and rich as wine four. We always check the wines in advance of the event to make sure they're not corked. Although in wine school, funnily enough, it can be useful to get a corked wine because then we can pass it round, everyone can compare it with the good example and that way they can learn what to expect if they got a corked wine. We always like each wine to get at least one vote, excellent. We always open eight to 10 wines here, and obviously doing that at home will be a bit of a pain and pretty expensive as well. I just wanna keep smelling this. It smells juicy and delicious, lovely. Any other comments on the aromas here? The approach at Berries here is interactive and informal. We don't want to stand up at the front of the room and tell you what you should believe about a particular wine. But I thought, as I was walking here thinking, my goodness, am I going to be a bit intimidated? They're going to be you know, people who are very into their wine to know a lot more than I did. Not at all, I was made very, very comfortable. It's always lovely and surprising. There's usually a, a special treat in there. So the last wine we had, the 16-year-old um, Pinot Noir, was really lovely. Absolutely magnificent, yeah. Um, very informative. Lots of uh, very different flavours. And that combined with you know the history of the cellar and everything, you know, an incredible first experience. Great group of people felt very, very relaxed and really delicious wines. I really enjoyed it tonight. We believe at Berries that everyone can be a great wine taster. We just need to coax that out of you and give you the confidence to explore it for yourself.